A while back, I did a movie on how to install iMovie 9 on an unsupported G4 or G5 Power PC Mac. Now, as you know, I did a movie a while back on the Cube, and unfortunately on that particular series of machine, we're stuck at iMovie 6. But I found a really neat way of getting iMovie 8 slash aka iMovie 9 on it. And the nice thing about this is we can actually do videos on 1080p and also upload to YouTube. Now I don't know if this is really going to happen because browsers have changed over the years and I doubt seriously if we'll be able to upload it directly. But we'll have some fun, we'll try it. So what we're going to do is we're going to channels that I watch and some of my YouTube friends and I thought I'd just do a few little quick snippets of their websites. And we'll see if we can actually uh, get this to render in 1080p and upload it directly. Now if we can't, what we'll do is we'll just move the file over from there, my newer Mac, and we'll upload it directly from there. But it will be already rendered on the cube. And if you want to learn how to install iMovie on an unsupported G4 or G5 PowerPC Mac, I'll put a link of this video and I'll put a description in there and you can go to it and get all the links, where to download, where to get all the information and get this on your machine. Now the only thing is also on this hack is if you actually see an update for it, do not do the update because that will interfere with the hack and you'll have to wind up doing this whole process over again. So let's try it. Be back in a moment. So we have the cube up and running and what we're going to do is we're going to take with our iPhone and we're going to shoot some video on YouTube as far as doing some screen capture and then what we're going to do is then we're going to import it in iMovie so we can do a movie and I can and I really hope that we can do this on this cube it'd be pretty neat if we can do that uh, channel friends. I follow their channels a lot. I mean, I follow a lot of people. I'm not going to go through and go through hundreds of people that I follow, but these are some of my main ones that I do. If I don't mention you, please don't take it personal. It's just, I'm just doing this on the cube. I'm shooting this on my iPhone, so that way we can edit this on the cube. I can't make it too long because we don't want to uh, take a, a year to do this. So anyway, uh, friends that I watch, uh, Steve at Mac84. Uh, he has great content. He really specializes in the 68K Max. He does a lot of great things. Does a lot of live streams. Does a lot of board repair. And so I really encourage you to check his channel out. Very entertaining. And then the next person is Jay from the House of Moth. Uh, he really does a lot of board repair as well, especially when it comes to the classic uh, Mac Pros. But he works on other machines too. He repairs them, he buys them, he sells them. He does awesome work and he has great content. Highly suggest you check him out too. Rankus Creations, Bruce over there. My gosh, he does some amazing work on board repair. He primarily does uh, live streams, but he also has some great video tutorials, uh, a lot of great websites. Check him out. He's in Australia, does great work, helps a lot of people out in the Mac community. He also really specializes in the 68K Max as well. Check his channel out. And Mike from Mike's Mac Shack, also great content. He works on older machines. He is a great person. Uh, he's helped me out a lot. I've helped him out a lot. So check his channel out. And Sean at Action Retro, he does a lot of fantastic things. Again, my friend at YouTube, uh, he does some really neat things. Him and me, we really like to modify our G4 cubes. And his cube is a little more souped up than mine. But hopefully one of these days I'll, I'll be able to equal his or even surpass it. But he does so many neat things. Check his channel out. Great history. Teaches you a lot of information. Check him out. Great channel. Uh, Greg Thompson there at uh, the Mac Attack. He's got a lot of good videos. Check his channel out. He has a lot of good content, especially on the uh, Open Core. If you want to learn how to install that on your classic Mac Pro, check his channel out as well. And Joe's Computer Museum. Boy, he does a lot of neat stuff. He does a lot of uh, specialized board modification, sells things, creates things. Very good content. Check him out. You'll enjoy his channel. I learn a lot of information from him. And these are just some of the people that I follow. Obviously, there's hundreds of people that I follow, but check these guys out. I'll put links in my description on their channels. Well, we are doing the laborious task of 
importing files from the iPhone and from my computer for other cuts and things and we're getting it slowly on the cube. As you can see we've started working on the movie here and we're putting the other half of the movie on here. I import it from my phone and it's going to take a couple hours because it's 5.11 gigabyte file because I forgot to turn it off uh, 4K uh, and scale it down to 1080p but that's not a problem so when I get it on here when I go to uh, copy it on the desktop here to import it then we'll cut the resolution down on it but it's still going to be in 1080p it's just that the file is really big it really is pretty easy to do um, there's a little difference between obviously the modern iMovie and versus the older iMovie 6 HD which was on here originally and like I said we are up to iMovie 9 on this via a hack but it works pretty good I'm just importing that file and then we'll be right back when that's done okay so the video is done and so now we're gonna try to upload it to YouTube but I can almost guarantee it ain't gonna happen but hey we'll try it what the heck I'll be curious to see what it does so let's see what it does here man I haven't seen this screen in a long time hmm. and let's see we're gonna do the computer all right so YouTube computer and we're gonna call it Uh oh. <laughs> ah, look at that. Trouble with the, I knew I knew it was gonna do that. I was surprised that we even got that far. Let's just try this again for fun. So account. Password. Category. Downloading. And we're gonna do that. I know we need to put our personal information in here. So let me uh, be back just in a second. Okay, well, we tried to upload it. It's not going to do it. Uh, when we try to do the share and upload it to YouTube, we get an error. It, we don't get very far, which I totally expected that. So what we're going to do is uh, we try to do it. We get an error encountered. I put all my information in there. So we're going to render the movie and put it on a USB drive and we're going to stick it on an iMac, upload it. So the next time you see this, you can watch it on YouTube. And it's nice to get these power PC machines doing things that they really weren't meant to do. I would not be able to do what I've done on this without the heavy modifications that I've done to this cube. And without that, this would not be possible as far as putting iMovie 9 as far as on this machine and rendering it the way that I can. Because this cube was never really meant to run Leopard. Uh, it was already meant to run Tiger. But now that we have Leopard on it and we have all the... Uh, modifications done on it in terms of where it is now it allows us to do things that was never meant to do this machine is still very useful in some situations can you go surfing on the internet yeah you can with 104 fox uh, you can do that um, but it's very uh, you know not very quick now of course a lot of it is uh, on the internet that we have here too now if we had faster internet this might do just a little bit better because it is an Ethernet port. Uh, we're not using AirPort on it. Our Internet's very slow. So anyway, on that note, please like this video. Please subscribe and click that notification bell. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.